Good morning guys, how you doing? I am excellent. We had a rain last night and all my plants got watered with rainwater. I think they grew overnight just from having good rain. So we're excited about our little garden. The tomatoes that I, I thought I bought cherry tomatoes. They're like this size. <laughs> so I don't think they're cherry tomatoes. <laughs> I was thinking about that video I did yesterday. First of all, it was not sponsored by Walmart. You know, <laughs> they don't know who I am. Um, but I was thinking about all those coupons for tequila and wine and whiskey and vodka and something else. <laughs> I thought, you know what? They th are thinking, everybody's been home with their family for two months now. <laughs> they need some of this stuff. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not much going on here. I'm just out here enjoying the cool weather. I don't know what the temperature is, but I'm gonna guess in the 60s because it's very cool after having real hot days. And um, I bathed the dogs yesterday and I was out of uh, dog shampoo. So I mixed up a recipe I saw on Pinterest and it was equal parts of, no, no, no. It was a fourth of a cup of Dawn, a fourth of a cup of vinegar, and a half a cup of water mixed up, and you use that. I didn't put quite that much Dawn because I thought that was a little heavy on the soap. <laughs> but, oh, they are white, and their fur is soft. So... And vinegar is supposed to help with fleas. We don't have fleas yet, but you know, in the summer, you know, fleas will be out. But anyway, if you need to bathe your dogs, try that. Um, a cup of water, a half a cup of water, a fourth a cup of vinegar, and then some Dawn. They say a fourth a cup. Now, I thought that was way too much. But anyway, they are pretty dogs this morning. I got those clippers, and I've been scared to death to try to groom them, really. But I'm just going to have to in the next couple of days. <laughs> so I'll let you know how that works. Deborah Joy also bought clippers so she could try to uh, groom her little dog, Hazel. <laughs> well, let me tell you, if she can groom Hazel, I can groom my dogs. But I want her to go first. <laughs> um, I was thinking about this pandemic you know it's going on and on and on what is the thing you miss doing the most since mid-march like I said it doesn't affect me all that much but I do miss um, whenever we went any you know I have my grandkids all the time while the parents are working and anytime we went anywhere like Walmart or the grocery store or Dollar Tree or that's about the only places I go. Uh, if I did need to go to those places, we would take the kids. Well, their parents don't want their kids in out in the public at all. So we haven't been able to take them anywhere. And honestly, the few times I've been in Walmart, our little neighborhood market, I think I haven't seen a kid. Uh, my daughter said she saw a family with some children. I moved inside because the people that mow the grass and trim decided to come. So I thought that was more noise than we need. And you're probably wondering, why do I always have a spray bottle next to me outside and inside? If the dogs start barking and they don't stop after I've told them a couple of times, then we spray water on them. It's just a mist. It doesn't hurt them. Actually, if I pick up the spray bottle, they know what that means, and so they usually stop. Well, here's Toby. You want to say hi? Yes. Oh, Toby's nice and no. <laughs> Toby, stop. <laughs> Toby's nice and white today, except for his tear stains. Um, I was going to tell you something, now, and I don't know what it was. Shoot. Um, oh, the spray bottle. That's why there's always a spray bottle. This is Toby. He'll be two at the end of the month on the 23rd. And the first entire year of his life, I got him on the 4th of July. 
the first entire, oh, probably even 18 months of his life, I never turned off the living room ceiling fan. It went 24 hours a day. Well, I turned it off at night, but you know, it went all the time. He's, he heard ceiling fan, he's looking up at it. <laughs> never bothered this dog whatsoever. But then this winter, I turned it off for a couple of months. And when we needed to turn it back on, all of a sudden, he's scared to death of it, and he barks like crazy every time we turn it on. <laughs> so, for sure, we have to have a water bottle inside. So, <laughs> to tell him, no, don't bark at the ceiling fan. It's not going to get you. <laughs> he's scared to death of everything. <laughs> and when he's scared, he barks. <laughs> yeah, sure, a good boy, though. Going to be a birthday boy. Uh, <laughs> and I love the ceiling fan. <laughs> so, he's going to have to get used to it again. <laughs> um and for my new subs, when I say we, I'm talking about me and my daughter, Casey. She's an adult, but she lives in the apartment across the breezeway from me. She has some major medical issues, as do I, and so we take care of each other. We uh, cook meals together. We share, we split the cost of groceries in half. She helps me with my grandkids a lot. And so anytime I'm saying we, that means it's my daughter, Casey. So, I guess that's all I know today. I think I'll go and uh, uh, drag out leftovers for lunch. We had King Ranch chicken casserole yesterday, and we have that leftover and some Mexican rice and stuff like that. I love that casserole. Um, I, if, if you have videos, and I normally watch you, I may not be commenting as much for a, a while. I'm having horrible headaches and my eyes hurt. And I've about decided it's because I stare at my phone screen way too much. <laughs> I do everything on my phone. I play word games, I text, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I film on it and things. And I really think staring at my little screen is what's giving me the headaches and the eye strain. So I, I'll still do videos. I may get my daughter to, uh, download them for me and answer questions for a little while. I just want to get off my phone for at least a week and see if the headaches and the eye strain stops. So um, I can always have my little granddaughter help me answer questions. She would love that. <laughs> so anyway, if you don't hear from me for a while, uh, it's because for a week I'm trying that. And honestly, I'll probably watch a few videos, just not quite as many as I normally do. I, I stay, spend way too much time looking at my screen. Okay, I'm going to go get lunch out. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I always add on little videos at the end. Um, in case you guys don't watch Deborah Joy, she uh, has a channel. That's her name, Deborah Joy, and that's her YouTube channel name. She's in her 60s, and she has a little dog, Hazel. <laughs> so if you don't watch Deborah Joy, go see if you like her. I watch her all the time. Uh, she is someone who really encouraged me to uh, cr create my own YouTube channel. And then um, I'm, I'm going to quit telling you the numbers, because I don't think you really want to hear it. Uh, but I know it sounds harsh that people aren't letting their kids out, that the apartment complex has everything roped off and won't let the kids on the playground equipment or anything, but I live in the Texas Panhandle and just in the Panhandle in the upper counties of Texas, which is not heavily populated at all, our cases are 4,790 as of last night. And for here, that seems like an awful lot just for our area. That's not the whole state. So people here are being really cautious. Um, maybe too cautious, some people think. I don't know. Well, everybody will be happy when everything opens up again. Uh, you know, everybody will be happy. And maybe that's coming real soon. Okay, I'm going to tell you bye, and that is all. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>